Hello, this is Tori with Landio. We have a 35 acre hunting and recreation property adjoining BLM land in Southern Colorado. Now, we've sold a lot of land in this area of Southern Colorado. And this is the first and only parcel that we've ever had that actually adjoins BLM land. And not only does it adjoin BLM land, it adjoins BLM land on the entire north and eastern boundaries. And this is a great section of BLM land because you have heavily wooded areas but you have this road access that takes you almost through the entire parcel. You can see these roads still run up through here, so you can get throughout this entire parcel of BLM land. This is the parcel on the plat map, it's lot 30, and here we are zoomed in, and you can see BLM land all along the entire north boundary and then all along the entire eastern boundary. Then you have 20 foot easements in place, around the perimeter of each parcel. So where there's adjoining parcels, that's 40 foot wide. And there's some seasonal water flow through the southern portion of the property. This is a photo of some deer that were seen near the property. There were lots of fresh wildlife tracks and droppings that were on the property. This is the interactive map that we have linked on our website. And this whole yellow shaded area here is the roughly 760 acres of public land that the property adjoins. If you go over to this legend, you can turn on the game management area layer. And it'll show you that it is in game management area 85, where the Colorado Division of Parks and Wildlife indicates that there is hunting for elk, mule deer, white-tailed deer, pronghorn antelope, bear, wild turkey, cottontail rabbits, and dusky blue grouse. And the other layer you can turn on is this road layer here. And that will show you the path. And there, there are multiple paths you could take to get to this property, but the path our photographer took, which was a nice direct route, was from County Road 531, which you can get to County Road 531 a multitude of ways from State Highway 69, which is right up here. So you take State Highway 69 down to County Road 540, which then intersects with County Road 531 right here. And then you loop around down to this point right here, where you'll see a road that you turn off. You then follow this red line. You can download this interactive map into an app for free on your phone if you were to visit the property and then you can see yourself as you drive along this red line to the property and then you enter the property from the north and then this road then runs through the property down across this seasonal water flow and then continues on so this is an access road that you know, people use to to get to their properties and then here are photos of that access road leading to the property. So you'll need something like a higher clearance truck or SUV, a Jeep, something of that nature. And then here's where we have the road coming in from the north, this BLM land there, and then entering the property right there. And here we're looking to the northeast from the north portion of the property. You can see the Bedito Cone, Greenhorn Mountain, the San Isabel National Forest, and you can see that road as it comes down through the property. And now we're looking south. There's our photographer's truck right there. And there is the seasonal water flow through the property. And there's this nice big open meadow on the southern portion of the property that we'll show you in some of the other photographs. So here's a closer image of that nice open meadow. This is from the open meadow looking north. There's the Greenhorn Mountain and the San Isabel National Forest. And then from the open meadow looking towards the west, that is Sheep Mountain. And you can see here's a boundary marker right here. There's a closer image of the boundary marker. And then here's the path of the seasonal water flow. And then you have this marker next to the stake. And from here we're looking towards the southwest. There's this big cloud covering Mount Mestis and Rough Mountain. You can see part of Sheep Mountain right there. And then this is part of Silver Mountain. And this image is from the north portion of the property looking south. There is a full view of Silver Mountain. And then over here, you'll start to see the Spanish Peaks. In this photo here, you can see both of the Spanish Peaks and there's Silver Mountain. And these are Google Earth terrain views. These will give you a nice representation of the lay of the land in relationship to the parcel boundaries. Here we're south of the property looking north. There's the access road that we've shown in several of the photos. You have an open meadow here. But then you also have this one right here, which is really nice because it's kind of tucked back and private. And this is east of the property looking west. So again, we have the access road, the seasonal water flow. And then here's that meadow that's kind of tucked back 
on the side of this ridge. We get a lot of requests for property that would be good for like ATVs, motorcycles, and we receive a lot of requests for recreational land that would be ideal for horseback riding, ATVs, dirt bikes, things of that nature. And this parcel has some great attributes that would complement those types of activities. And this is from the same view, just now we can see the horizon with the Sheep Mountain and the Little Sheep Mountain. And then this is north of the property looking south. And here we can see the Spanish Peaks and Silver Mountain, which we've also seen in many of the photos. And again, the entire north boundary and the entire east boundary adjoin nearly 760 acres of BLM land. Now we're west of the property looking east. And then here's another view where you can see again that open meadow there on the southwest portion of the property. So let's just say hypothetically you want to put a cabin or some type of tiny home on this property and you like the idea of this meadow right here. You can go to this tool right here on the interactive map and then you can draw any shape. So if we just kind of follow along where that meadow is in relationship to the parcel boundary, you write it just over three acres, which is nearly 130,000 square feet, roughly three football fields. So there's plenty of space for a cabin home, even some accessory buildings, a barn, or maybe just a spot to pitch a tent or park an RV, a camper, a fifth wheel. And several of the nearby landowners have developed their properties to varying degrees. Now these are only the ones that we could easily identify in these satellite images. A lot of times uh, when people put the smaller cabins and tiny homes and things of that nature, sometimes it's really hard to see them from the satellite images. And if we look at some of these in more detail, you can see that you know they have done things of varying degrees with you know homes, corrals, accessory buildings. There's people that have RVs, maybe a barn dominium. There's those kit cabins, log homes, maybe a van. I know some people even use school buses. Then you're close to multiple areas where you can find food, fuel, groceries, restaurants, lodging, dining. You're only 28 miles to Levita and 34 miles to Walsenburg, which is the county seat of Horfano County where the property is located. Population of around 3,200 in Walsenburg. There's restaurants, professional services, groceries, supplies, medical care at the Spanish Peaks Regional Health Center. And you're only 33 miles to the Lathrop State Park, which is about 1,600 acres, has two lakes where you can go fishing, enjoy water sports, hunting. You're about 72 miles to Trinidad, Colorado, which has a population around 10,000. There's a Walmart Supercenter in Trinidad. You're about 76 miles to the Trinidad Lake State Park, which has an 800-acre lake. About 75 miles to the Great Sand Dunes National Park. About 70 miles to Pueblo, Colorado. Now, Pueblo has a population of around 110,000, so, so pretty much anything you need you can find in Pueblo. About 115 miles to Colorado Springs, which has a population around 440,000. Then about 185 miles, roughly three hours to Denver, Colorado. So this 35 acre hunting and recreation property adjoining nearly 760 acres of BLM land priced at just 35,000. All the property details are listed here on our website. And as you continue to scroll down, you'll see over 80 images. Now these photos are actually of the property and the surrounding area and were taken within the last week or so. And at the bottom of the page, we have this interactive map. So if you'd like to purchase this property before it's sold, go to our website and click on this Buy Now button. What that'll do is add a deposit of $499 to your cart. Then click Checkout. This window will appear where you can enter in all your information and then continue through the checkout process. Once the checkout process has been completed, we'll receive an instant notification that your $499 deposit has been made. We'll then take the property off the market, send you over a simple one-page purchase agreement, and arrange for the balance of payment. The $499 deposit is credited towards the purchase price and we cover all of the closing costs. And if you have any questions, our phone number is on the top of every page of our website. That number is 713-597-7670. That number also receives text messages. We have a live chat feature on our website. We try to be available as often as possible. If we're not available for whatever reason, please send us a message and we'll respond to you at our next availability. You can also contact us through this form on our website or send us an email directly. Our email address is hello at landio.com. And as always, we really appreciate you taking the time to visit our website, watch our videos, and share our properties with your family, friends, and colleagues. Thank you and have a blessed day.